Hi guys, welcome back to another Yoga Flow and today we're going to be focusing on glute and hamstring strength. So usually in a yoga practice we focus on kind of lengthening those muscles rather than actually strengthening them. So today's going to be a little bit different, it's going to be quite challenging, so do what you can, work with your limitations and just see how it goes. We're going to start in child's pose today. So bringing the big toes together at the back of the mat, resting your sitting bones down onto those heels and then come on down into your child's pose. So get comfy, you can use your hands as a pillow or if you prefer to rest your forehead onto the mat. Yogi's choice, give yourself a moment to like settle in. Maybe there's a little bit of fidgeting like you're allowed to. And then see if you can invite some stillness in. Closing off the eyes. Take a smooth breath in through the nose. And a soft sigh out through the mouth. Whew. One more smooth breath in. Soft sigh out. And just take a moment to notice how the body feels in this shape today. Maybe there's a light stretch through the top of the ankle, top of the thigh. How does the lower back feel in this shape? How does the neck and shoulders feel in this shape? And then see if you can really stay with your body today. So really noticing all that kind of heat and fire that we're going to be generating to build strength. So really kind of stay with that sensation. So we're starting to just engage with the breath. So breathing in and out of the nose. Ujjayi breath if you have it. So in and out of the nose with sound. Slight restriction at the back of the throat. It's a very fiery breath and it really does help us get through more challenging sequences. So you're starting to energize yourself through that breath. Lovely. When you're ready, walking the hands forwards, come on forwards to an all fours position. Awesome. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Let's just take a couple of rounds a cat cow just to like mobilize the spine so inhale drop belly lift the heart exhale round it on out look all the way to the toes starting to hydrate that spine inhale soft elbows looking up into cow pose exhale rounding into cat pose one more round inhale articulate through every vertebrae and as you exhale, push the shoulder blades into the ceiling, crown of the head drops down. Lovely, inhale to a neutral place with the spine now. Engage through the core, so we wanna really be protecting our lower back here. So really suck up the tummy, pull the belly button back towards the spine. And you're gonna raise your right leg off the mat. Good, bending the knee, push up through the heel. So you really feel that glute switch on. Take a breath in to push the heel into the ceiling. And then as you exhale, bring the knee towards the nose, point the toe. Good, so as you inhale, pushing that heel up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, knee to nose. Good, inhale, pushing that heel up, core engage, use the glute. Exhale, knee to nose. Three more on this side, inhale. Push that heel up. Good, exhale, round it in. Inhale, core strong, dig the heel into the ceiling. Exhale, round. One more, inhale, pushing that heel into the ceiling. Exhale, round it on in. Lovely, inhale, pushing that heel into the ceiling. Hold it here, feel that right glute really fire up. So notice how your left hip feels. Can you distribute the weight evenly over the hands? 
and concentrate that energy on that right glute. Keep breathing. Lovely, full breath. As you exhale, bringing that knee down, Ooh, take a little swing of those hips from side to side. Let's do the same movement on the left. So picking up that left leg, bending the knee, and then dig the heel into the ceiling. So just notice if this like, makes you arch your lower back like this and you kind of lose it. Draw your belly in, core engage. We're using that left bum cheek, big breath. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, dig that heel into the ceiling. Exhale, knee to nose. Good, inhaling. And exhaling. Good, inhale, control that movement. Push the heel into the ceiling. Exhale, round it in, knee to nose. Good, inhale. Dig that heel into the ceiling. Exhale, round. Good, inhale. Pressing that heel into the ceiling. Holding it here. So just notice if you begin to like lean to one side or the other, distribute the weight evenly. Engage through the core and really fire up that left glute, that static hold. Building a little bit of fire in that glute. Lovely, full breath in. And as you exhale, bringing that knee down, whoo, give those hips a little bit of a shake out, wonderful. From here, sit back onto your heels, just give your wrists a little bit of a break there, roll them out, awesome. Let's come to all fours, spread those fingers nice and wide, tucking toes, and then finding a downward facing dog. So here we are stretching out our hamstrings, so just start to take a little pedal through, very gently teasing in to the back of the leg. Core lightly engaged. Distributing the weight evenly over both hands and spreading the fingers nice and wide so we look after those wrists. Good, bring your big toes to touch at the back of the mat. And then as you inhale, float your right leg up off the mat. Kick through the heel, see how that uses your glute and your hamstring. As you exhale, lower it down slowly. Let's do two more. Inhale to lift that leg, push through the heel. Exhale to lower. One more, inhale, flex the foot, push through the heel. Exhale to lower. Awesome, opposite side with control. Inhale, left heel up, push away, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. Mindful and control movements are gonna be so much better than if we're mindlessly doing like loads and loads of reps of poor form. So nice and slow, kick that heel up. Exhale, lower it on down, awesome. Inhale, come on forwards to a high plank. And then you're gonna lower all the way down to the tummy. Use your knees if you need to, awesome. Elbows underneath the shoulders into this sphinx pose, gives our wrists a little bit of a break here. And then from here, we're gonna lift the feet up, flex the feet, and then bring the heels in towards the glutes, lengthening them out, toes touch the floor, and then heels in. So just be mindful of your lower back here. If this is like really kind of pinchy in the lower back, you can do the same movement like this with your head down but you're just starting to find that pull of your hamstring. So your hamstring lifts the lower leg. It's almost like a hamstring curl. It is a hamstring curl. I was gonna say like a bicep curl, but it's completely different. <laughs> you know what I mean. So just lightly starting to find what it feels like to use the hamstrings to pull the leg up. Lovely. Nice. And then bringing the feet up and then just take a little rock from side to side, just chill it out for a sec. Awesome. Bringing the feet down towards the mat, hands underneath the shoulders, push back to child's pose for a breath, just to lengthen that lower back. And then when you're ready, lifting on up into your downward facing dog. Good, begin to walk your feet towards your hands. Come to the top edge of your mat. Just take a nice dangly forward fold. So soften through the knees, let the head go. So it's a lot of kind of 
thinking about the muscles. So if you are kind of straining through the neck, through the jaw, through the face, let it go. Nice, and then soften the knees even more and slowly begin to rebuild yourself one little vertebrae at a time. No rush, no race, rolling the shoulders away from the ears, awesome. Big toes to touch. Inhale, reach the hands up, sink the bum low into a chair pose. Now you really wanna have the weight in your heels here so you feel those glutes switch on. Draw your belly in to keep the lower back nice and long. Let's take a little pulse here. So inhale to straighten a little, exhale to lower. Inhale, straighten, exhale, lower. Inhale to straighten, exhale, lower. It's a little bit up in the quad as well actually. Lift, hands can come to your hips if having the arms out in front is too much. Good. This time, bring your hands together at heart center. You're gonna transfer the weight into your left leg. Pick your right knee in towards the chest. Lovely, let's find warrior three. So kicking through your right heel, engage through the glute, through the back of that right leg, the hamstring, into warrior three. Now, let's take three little dips here. Take a breath. And as you exhale, bend into your left leg. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Good, inhale, lift. This time as you exhale, lower all the way down, dropping those right toes behind you and then dropping that right knee down. Awesome, hands can come to that front thigh for support. Proud in the chest. A little bit for our hamstring here. So we're gonna pull our right heel in towards our right glute. Now often we just grab the foot and then stretch into the quad, but that kind of doesn't allow us to use the strength of our hamstring. So see if you can do that movement a couple of times with pulling the heel in towards the glute and then relaxing it down. If you need to pad up your knee, totally go for it. So just a couple of movements here, just finding that engagement through the hamstring. Lovely, and then on your next one, can you hold it there? So flex the foot, foot, I find that helps really kind of engage through that hamstring. It's quite like a lot of effort as well. Breath is steady. Lovely, big breath in. As you exhale, lower the foot down, straighten up that front leg, come into a half split, just relax through the upper body, relax through the back of the left leg. Soften through that jaw. Lovely. Good, planting that foot down, plant the hands. Step it back to a high plank, breathe in. Exhale, take it through a vinyasa, maybe using the knees. Inhale, point toes, squeeze shoulder blades. And as you exhale, take it back, downward facing dog, nice. Inhale, bend the knees looking forwards, exhale, step or jump to the top, feet together. Inhale, chair pose, knees together, Bend them deeply. Weight is in the heels, should be able to wave your toes at me. Hands can be in the front, up in front, or they can be on your hips, yogi's choice. And let's take a few little pulses here. Just be mindful that you can still see your big toe and your core is engaged so the lower back is nice and flat. Lovely, and then bringing the hands in towards the heart. Shift the weight into the right leg, left knee into the heart. Good, slowly, mindfully, kick through that heel. Engage through the glute and the hamstring to lengthen out and take flight into your warrior three. Good, three dips here. So bending into that standing leg, push the floor away. Oh, this is hard. Good, bend it and straighten. This time we're gonna bend deeply and then drop those left toes behind, dropping the knee down, hands relax onto the thigh. Good. And then bringing your left heel in towards your left bum cheek and down. It's a very like subtle movement, but see if you can like do it a few times just to really like engage with it. See if you can like find that mind muscle connection to that left hamstring. Relax through the face and the shoulders, even I'm like, eh, thinking about it too much. 
Good. And then let's hold it in place. So flex the foot. See if you can get your heel right in towards that glute. I know it's really tempting to like grab it and get that quad stretch, but it's not about the quads today. We're all about strengthening those hamstrings and glutes. Lovely. Take a breath. Exhale, lower the foot down, hands come down, straighten up that front leg into your half split. <sighs> Make sure your half split is like kind of comfortable. You can bring your hands onto block, almost like a little resting pose. Wonderful. Good, take a full breath. Exhale, plant the foot, plant the hand, step it back to a high plank, breathe in. Exhale through a vinyasa, or remember you can skip it and you can meet me just back in downward facing dog if you don't want to do all the vinyasas today. It's all good. Take a full breath in. Slow breath out. <sighs> good. Inhale, float your right leg high into the sky. Use that glute. And as you exhale, right knee to right wrist, bringing the foot over to the left. Good. Slide your back foot back. Come onto the fingertips. You can always prop up this right glute with a brick or a block. Nice, and then we're gonna be focusing on that left hamstring. So nice, proud chest. Inhale, exhale, left heel in towards the glute. Good, inhale to lower, exhale to pull it in. Nice. With your own breath. If this is too much on the back, you can always bring your hands out a little bit uh, further down. It just takes out some of the back bend. Let's do two more lifts. And then on our next one, let's hold it. So flex the foot, heel in towards the glute. Really feel that kind of fire be generated. Wonderful, full breath in. Exhale, lower the foot down, and then let's melt ourselves down into pigeon. So hands as a pillow or head straight onto the mat. Hmm. Relaxing through the right glute. Allow that left leg just to like fall behind you. Wonderful. And then walking the hands back towards you. Let's step it back to a downward facing dog. So tuck the back toes, lifting up. Let's lift our right leg all the way up into three-legged dog. Kick through the heel, maybe give it a little shake out. Awesome, and then placing it back down. Let's do the opposite side. Inhale, left leg lift. Use the glute. Exhale, left knee to left wrist. Foot comes to the right. And then walk that back foot back. Remember, you can always prop up. You can always come a little bit further down. You can be all the way down here. That's good. Take a breath. And then as you exhale, right heel to the bum cheek. Good. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Exhale. Nice. So really focus on what that hamstring and what that glute is doing. Let's do one more before we hold it. Good, exhale, heel to bum. So see if you can get the heel as close as you can to your bum. It's all about strength through that hamstring. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Good, full breath. And then as you exhale, let the foot drop down, untuck that toe and melt your body forwards into pigeon. Relaxing through that left hip, left glute. Right leg falls behind you. Steady the breath, steady the mind. Nice, and then slowly walking the hands back underneath the shoulders. And let's take it back to a three-legged dog. So tucking that back toes, we're gonna lift our left leg all the way back and up into three-legged dog. Give it a little shake out. And then bringing the big toes together at the back of the mat, dropping the knees, dropping the forehead back where we began. 
child's pose. Checking in with how you feel now. Particularly in that lower half of the body, maybe feeling a little bit stronger. More grounded and stable, maybe. And then walking the hands back towards you, lifting up the body, come into a comfortable seat. Relax the hands onto the knees or the thighs, close off the eyes just for a moment. And just watch that natural flow of breath. Noticing if there's any shift in the body, maybe some heat has been generated, some strength has been uncovered. And then bringing the hands to the heart center, bowing the head to the heart. Thank yourself for carving out this time to look after both your glutes and your hamstrings as well as your mental health. Blinking the eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me for this flow today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Those hamstring um, engagement poses are really tricky. So practice this, again, this one again if you didn't quite get it. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on the next one.